Tea time. Did y'all hear the story on here about the woman who was living in New York? She was living a high life, had a great career, great girlfriend, loved her life. And then one day she and her girlfriend decided they was going to spice things up by moving from New York to Austin, Texas. Okay, they start set things into plan, chose a date to move down there, set things in motion. But when the time came close, all of a sudden the girlfriend couldn't get her career, her job in order in order to be able to move there by the date. So the first woman said, you know what, I'll go, here, go there at our plan time and you can come a month later when you're ready. And they decided it was okay. So she moves to Austin, Texas. Of course, she doesn't know anybody there. So she starts, you know, trying to get out, network and connect. She ends up being invited to some entrepreneur like social meetup type thing and she goes and of course she's very beautiful outgoing so she's meeting everybody mingling and talking they're sitting at a dinner table and she's talking to everybody and she realizes that the only person she didn't get to talk to was a man sitting right in front of her she never got a chance to chat with him and find out who he is but after the dinner he gives a lot of the people a ride to like a party afterwards and she's one of them and he drives a tesla and she says to him oh man i love driving this tesla i mean riding in this tesla is awesome i would love to own one one day and he's like well let me know if you ever want to drive it i'll let you drive it she's like what because she didn't even have a license <laughs> but fast forward a couple days later, she's deciding to participate in some kind of cycling event where she's riding a bicycle, she's out, she's trying to get out and do her thing in Austin. And during the cycling event, she gets into an accident and she hurts herself like really badly. Like she's on the gurney and everything. Like the people are trying to take care of her, asking, telling her she got to go to the hospital. Turns out she broke her collarbone. So while they're trying to take care of her, they're asking her, who can we call for you, um, your emergency contact? They're like, she's like, I can't, I can't, you can't call her. She, she lives in New York. And, and they're like, who can we call for you? And she's like, nobody. I don't have anybody here. And she's like really frustrated and, and angry and, you know, sad, just disoriented because of the situation. And they say, you know what? We do have a volunteer, you know, on hand just for cases like this. And we're going to call them. So they call a the volunteer. And she says, out of the corner of her eye, she sees a Tesla pull up. And out jumps the guy from that dinner who had given her a ride that time. And she's like, what? He puts her in the car and he's telling her and she makes some weird joke like, I guess I'll do anything to ride in the Tesla again. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, okay. Takes her to the hospital, gets everything settled, takes her home from the hospital. He does. And um, he's taking care of her. He looks around and he sees that she has dogs. He's like, you want me to walk your dogs? And she's like, no, 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 you've done enough. But he's like, I'll walk the dogs. The next day he comes to give her food. The next day he comes to check up on her. They end up developing this really good friendship and really vibing with each other to the point where she's talking on the phone with her girlfriend and telling her about him. And her girlfriend's like, wait, 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 what's going on? Is he trying to steal you? What's happening here? And she's assuring her girlfriend, no, baby, I love you. I only love you. And she's like, are you sure? She's like, I'm sure. Fast forward three years later, the guy in the Tesla is her baby daddy. But it ain't even like that. Because honestly, she married her girlfriend after her girlfriend moved there. And he ended up being the donor for them to have a child. <laughs>